before we do that, I just want to I want to talk to you guys about something and part of this is news from last week, okay? You guys might remember this from last week already and you might know where I'm going with this, but I just want to start you off by giving you uh, a, a, a fucking article from the end of August. Right. All right, so a couple weeks back. WWE legend Mick Foley pleads for help after ex-WCW star Daphne posts a disturbing video. Says, I'm all alone. I'm not going to play you the Daphne video. If you want to find it, you can. It's out there. But suffice it to say that if you're a close friend of hers and you see that, yeah, it's not good. Right. It's not that's good. Scary. That's a scary thing to see, for sure. That's not great. And I'm sure some of you have seen the video as well. Mick Foley also posted on Twitter that time. They go, hey, look, I called Daphne. She didn't answer the phone. Is anybody nearby? Anybody got eyes on her? I feel like something might have happened. Right, right. He knew. That's the right, right after thing to that, do. bam. XWCW star Daphne Unger dead at 46. Man. Probably a toxicity based suicide. I don't know that for sure. That is kind of what it seems like in the story. F's in the chat for Daphne. She was cool when she was at her height. That's definitely the fucking case. Now, yeah. if you don't remember, she was this girl. Yeah. She did she did the screaming. She was the one with all the screaming. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She like won the title at one point, didn't she? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Now, here's what I'm saying. F's in the chat for Daphne, definitely. But I tell you that, and a lot of you already know this. I tell you that to say that Mick Foley accurately predicted the future. Yeah. Maybe Mick there's Foley. other times where Mick Foley could accurately accurately predict the future. Mick Foley sends a warning to the World Wrestling Entertainment about all elite wrestling. Oh. So Mick took to uh, his Twitter and he put a video out where he goes, look, man, things are not going great over there at WWE and that's not where people are trying to get to. You could have a real problem on your hands if you don't do something about it immediately. Yeah. And I know what you're saying out there. You're going, yeah, I guess you could give us a synopsis about it, but I want to hear what Mick said. Say no more, fam. Lucky for you, you watched the Fright Power Hour. Nice. Let's take a minute 14 to hear from the man's mouth himself. Hello, this is hardcore legend Mick Foley. I'd like what to up? title this video WWE. We've got. By the way, is he wearing a button up Cactus Jack shirt that says bang on it? <laughs> Fuck is. yes. That is fucking awesome. How can it's I get dope. one? Because I think you do. And that problem is that WWE is no longer the place for talent to aspire to. Part Mm. of it is because AEW is doing a great job of attracting great talent, proven talent, building other talent, creating storylines. But part of it is a problem of your own making. I think younger talent sees the way that developmental characters are He's not totally wrong, dude. Left by the wayside. Or in the case of Karrion Cross, greatly watered down and even made a joke of when they debut on the main roster. It's not broke. Uh, Don't fix it. Uh, If I was an aspiring talent now, big league talent with a major decision to make, I'm not sure that I would trust WWE creative to do the right thing with my career. Damn. You guys did wonders with me uh, back in the day. But that was mm-hmm. a different time, different place. If it was today, I'm not sure I would trust the powers to be uh, with my career in their hands. And Man. until that changes, wow. WWE, you've got a problem. Man, Damn, he's, dude. He, he is not wrong. And I'll tell you, I think it's been that way since about 2001, 2002. Since about basically when all of them kind of merged together and they when had too much talent ended. on their hand. Yeah, yeah they, they had too they much had, when the Attitude Era ended. And that's when they started mismanaging people's careers and, and well, their storylines. I, I think they were, at, I still think it was the right move for Vince to buy out his competition at a bargain sure. and put himself back on top. But I think that maybe there's an element of them having to grow too quickly quickly mm-hmm. and mismanagement just kind of precipitates down over the line i don't know man mick foley could be fucking right there could be a serious problem on their hands all i know is that uh the motherfucker that runs the shit over at wwe one paul levesque otherwise known as triple h he saw mick foley say this boop heart attack immediately oh man yeah. okay no i'm kidding he didn't have a heart it's not why. Big Foley's <laughs> again. Totally separate. 
No, no, I only brought that up to tell you, and a lot of you know this already. Triple H is one of my favorites of all time. He did have a heart attack this week, or at least Go a cardiac City. event. Uh, so, looking forward to him getting better, man. Uh, I'm sure that he will. That's a tough son of a bitch. But I figured what perfect time to make a joke about it. Because if it were me, I would want somebody to be able to make a joke about it as well. And that's the whale's honest truth. Whether you're dead or alive.